In a world where Germany has the ability to win wars, this would have been their military's new camouflage. But thankfully, the Swiss saved us from that reality and created Alpenflage. Thanks to its unique red colorway, Alpenflage has been cemented into the Surplus Hall of Fame as a timeless banger. Its origins, however, are a little unclear. It began its life as Leibermuster, a standard issue camouflage for the German Wehrmacht. Due to the incident, Leibermuster was never fielded in significant quantities, though it did make it to the field a couple times before the end of the war. The factory that was responsible for producing these textiles was located in occupied Czechoslovakia, which coincidentally is where a couple Leibermuster-inspired patterns popped up in the immediate post-war years. Now, this is only a rumor, so bear that in mind. It's a little bit of hearsay. However, what people believe happened is that the Swiss military, looking for a new camouflage post-war, went to Czechoslovakia and said, yeah, I'll take that home with me and they began printing what is now known as Alpenflage in 1955. The Swiss adopted this pattern in 1957, making it Taz 57. Unfortunately, Alpenflage was unadopted in 1993 in favor of Taz 90, an Alpenflage-like pattern with different colors. Unfortunately, now that Alpenflage is gone, Switzerland's swag levels have been severely diminished. However, this is a good thing for surplus enjoyers because we just stocked about 6,000 pieces of Alpenflage. 6,000. They're in stock right now and you should buy them before they sell.